from the start, the new documentary Waiting for Superman has a point of view and doesn't hold back. You wake up every morning and you know that kids are getting a really crappy education right now. So you think that most of the kids here are getting a crappy education right now? Oh, I don't think they are. I know they are. It's a harsh and unflattering look at the state of public education in America. I want to go to school. It follows these five kids, desperate to go to better schools, but with limited openings, their futures depend on luck. For these kids, their only chance at getting into a great school depends on whether their number is picked in the lottery. It could be the most talked about documentary since An Inconvenient Truth, perhaps because they shared the same director, Oscar winner Davis Guggenheim. Experts will say the movie is pro this or anti that, but parents who see the movie say, I just want a great school for my kid. He told Katie Couric he hopes this film will provoke action. And that's what this movie is. It's a wake-up call saying they aren't working for every kid. Guggenheim Off features school, Harlem's Jeffrey job. Canada, who's shown it's possible to create great schools, even in poor neighborhoods. This week, the Department of Education announced grants to replicate his success in 20 more cities. That there's not an issue that we should put our heads in the sand. We could actually fix this. But critics of the movie say it unfairly targets public schools, their teachers, and unions. I thought it was a little slanted. Um, because I think that um, there are a lot of great public schools with great teachers and great administrators and great families. Still. Does anyone in, 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 the, in your group think the status quo is working? No, not at all. They also agree on what's at stake. I know I want to be a teacher. A child's future. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.